Hey, what's up, guys? Today's tutorial is on uh, geothermals and uh, thermal generators. Awesome. <laughs> kind of sick. Excuse my voice. Alright, let's get started. Cool. So, what are these contraptions? What are these blocks? What do they do? Alright, well, I'll tell you. These produce energy. They produce EU. Both of these do. This is from Greg Tech. This is from IC2, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so it's geothermal. You put lava in it, and it'll produce energy. Oop. This is how you craft it. Generator, empty cells, glass, and refined iron. Generator is iron furnace, three refined iron, and a battery, which is... Which is, I think, 4 tin, 2 redstone, and a copper cable. I'm not sure. This is 4 tin. And, yeah, smelt iron to get refined iron and glass. You smelt sand. Awesome. Alright, thermal generator. This is an upgraded version of a geothermal generator. It produces about 50% more EU. And it isn't that expensive to make, I think. These take two electronic circuits, a reinforced glass, geothermal generator, um, and invert ingots. You get uh, invert ingots by smelting nickel and iron. Hold on, let me look for it. Yeah, nickel and iron. It'll get you three invert ingots. Okay, and let's see. Reinforced glass is... Uh, Advanced alloy and glass. How do you make advanced alloy? Mixed metal ingots. How do you make that? Refined iron, bronze, and tin. Yeah. There's so many ingots you can use with this to give you more mixed metal ingots, but I'm not going to go through all of the pages. Cool. And what else? Geothermals, electronic circuits, copper cables, refined iron, and redstone. Uh, rubber for copper cables rubber and copper yeah cool so okay now that we know how to make the blocks how do we use them well there's two ways uh, why am I not running fast I need food oh yeah gotta have me some hydrogen What the? Oh, there we go. Give me some hydro drops. Oh, yeah. Okay, so how do you use geothermal and ger thermal generators? Well, you put lava cells, or you can pump lava directly into these. Um, here we use some liquid ducts. So if you have a lava source, just connect these together and say... So you have a tank right here. Um, and you can pump lava from the tank directly into the geothermals. And they'll produce energy for you. Um, lava, 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 lava. Lava. Don't want that kind of lava. I think we can use these. Yeah, we can use these. Okay, so we need to whack this with the wrench because this is outputting, so it'll input into these. I don't need a lever. Let's just lever. Sorry about that. Okay, lever and it should work. Yeah, these get lava, and they'll make it. Out. They'll make the lava turn. They'll turn the lava into power. So that's how you use those. It's the same thing for these thermal generators. You put lava in here, and it'll make energy. Hold on. All right. Cool. Now that you got that, this one produces more, and it's faster than this one. I've done tests like three times. So this is how they look like when they're on. And uh, 
This is how they look like when they're off. This one's black, and this one's not flashing red. And these are. Is it still working? Oh. Nope. Oh, see? I started this one and this one at the exact same time. And this one's almost finished. Cool. So, you guys know how to use those? I'm going to show you guys how to make unlimited EU, you can say. Unlimited EU. So, what you'll need is and two ender tanks one for the overworld and one from wherever you're pumping lava out and for right now we're just going to use another you can make a miscraft age uh, if you guys want to know what pages to use just leave a comment in the comment section below all right cool so ender tank i don't like the cheat mode thing on there ender tank it's uh Two obsidian, ender pearls, blaze rods, and a wool. A cauldron, you just five iron, or I think that's six, seven, eight, nope, seven, maybe, I'm not sure, not good at math. Geothermal generators, we went over, I'm not sure why that's not there, why that's not there. MFE, uh, if you're gonna, yeah, just pump it directly into an MFE. It's a waste of space if you put it in a bat box. So MFE, it's a... Two times insulated gold, two times insulated uh, gold cable, which is just gold and uh, rubber around that. You need energy crystals, which is either that, or you can use rubies, which is a way better use for them. Don't waste your diamonds. Okay, machine blocks, just refined iron. Uh, eight of them. Liquiducts. I like liquiducts better than waterproof pipes. These look cooler. And uh, that's copper and uh, hardened glass, and you get hardened glass from uh, lead ingots, which can, we can just mine up. And pulverized obsidian, which you just macerate or pulverize, and you'll get to, uh, yeah, liquid ducts, they're cool. Glass fiber cables, this is the standard, there's more, There's you can use electrum ingots to get like eight, but this is just the generic one. So it's glass, diamonds, redstone. And that's pretty much it. And we're just going to use normal tanks for now. You guys can use other tanks like Rollcraft tanks or Zycraft tanks. It's up to you. We're just going to use these for now. This is glass. Pretty much it. So I didn't build any. I didn't build it yet because I wanted to do it on camera. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. But once this is done, you guys will have basically a good amount of power. So let's go... Oh shit, we need, need a pump. Uh, pump. Oh my god, I forgot that. Pump. Pump. Where's that pump? Okay, pump. Don't need your hydrotrops. And we can just use redstone. Alright. Mm, here we go. So, we're gonna need this and these. You guys can use any engines. I'm just gonna use those for now. Oh crap, so how do you make a pump? Let's find out. Pump. Can I look at the recipe? Nope, I can't, hold on. Pump. Pump. Pump, it's just a tank and a mining well. Mining well is iron, iron gears, iron pickaxe, and redstone. How do you make an iron gear? Uh, that, four iron around stone and then Stone is four, four cobblestone around wood, and it's, that's just four sticks. How do you make this redstone engine? It's just a piston, wood, and uh, two wooden gears, which isn't that hard. And glass. All right, cool. Let's go to the Nether. Um, yeah, let's go and make a platform. And then we should be pretty good. Um, can I even fly? Why am I not flying? Why am I not flying? Oh, wait. There we go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Alright, cool. Let's just make it here. Alright. Uh, why is my... Why am I lagging? Why am I lagging? Hold on, excuse me. 
Sorry about that. So, just building a little platform over here. Nothing too fancy. Alright. One, two, three, four. I guess this is fine. Okay. Actually, let's let's do this. Let's elevate this more. Oh, this is gonna be unsymmetrical. Oh, darn it. Oh well, it's fine. That's gonna be pumping lava out, but I need somewhere to store it. So let's do this. Liquiducts here and here. Yeah. You want to, because you have to wrench that. And if you wrench this one, hold on. let me just show you an example. If you wrench this one, they're both be wrenched. Yeah. So you always want two if you want them that close to each other. All right. Where is my Ender Tank? This, you can just change the colors of these by uh, putting wool. Also, you can put it to receive um, sand only, etc. So that's gonna be pumping the lava out. It's gonna be sending it into the ender tank. Let's get some levers, levers. You guys can make this as efficient as you want. I'm just doing this. With the purpose of the tutorial. Um, crap, I'm gonna power that one up. Alright, that's going. That's going. It's gonna take a while since these are really slow. Let's find a better one. Um, can we use? Which one can we use? Oh, it's fine. Cool. So, that one is gonna be pumping in lava. As you can see, oh, you can't really see it. Hold on, let's see. Uh, yeah, you can see the lava inside the ender tank. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, so that's pumping lava. That's, yeah, you guys don't want to use this at all. I would say go for like, um, hobbyist engines or something. I totally spelled that wrong. You guys are gonna need to supply it with coal though, which sucks. And water. Yeah, let's just leave it as that for now. Cool. So now that this is done, let's go back to the overworld, which I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over here. Oh, nope, it was over here. Awesome. Cool. So you want to do basically what we did here, except you want to, like, Let's move these out the way. Make sure it's gonna get pumped out. Oh yeah. If you want these to connect, just hit them with a the wrench. No, 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 no. Yeah, only send. Only send. Red is only send. So now that we're pumping out a lot, we're pumping lava out of the Nether. It's gonna be sent here. It's gonna put directly into these geothermal generators, or or thermal generators i think you want to you would want to upgrade them but if you don't have the resources just stick with those for now uh, let's give these a wrench oh i guess i don't have to awesome see the receiving liquid awesome 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 and these produce uh, you can stick anything in there i think let's just stick an mfcu in there cool and it's producing energy awesome 
and uh, you can make frame motors to move the the li to move the uh, pump once it's fully like dried out. But uh, I would make a miscraft world, like I said. If you guys want the pages, just let me know in the comments below. So that's pretty much it. How to get easy? Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to wrench it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how you get lava out of the nether. Let's go back and check, double check. And it's working. Oh, why you lag now? Why you lag now? <coughs> oh my god, these are ridiculously slow. Yeah, I'm gonna replace them. Usually I have uh, blue electric engines on here the solar panels uh, cuz I just make it an eternal day put a chunk loader and you'll be set for days when I destroy that lever okay, we want water buckets water buckets or these will work too don't need those don't need those don't need those I think these will work yeah that will work awesome. awesome or you can have an aqueous accumulator Put um with uh, liquid ducts feeding these water, but you're also gonna have to feed it coal, which sucks. And yeah, pretty much it. But I just want to see it pump out lava from the nether. Oh, don't have coal. Ah, coal, 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 coal is the way to go. These will still be running, so we gotta wire those somehow. Come on, pump lava, pump lava, pump lava. Should we go see? No, I don't think so. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Um, yeah. Um, let me know what other tutorials I should do. I'm pretty good at this game, so yeah. I have more tutorials coming up soon. And yeah, please check out my channel. And yeah, if you like it, subscribe. If not, don't. And leave me a thumbs down. Well, I'll catch you guys later. After this pumps out lava. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, lava. Come on. Come on, lava. Why are they so slow? Let's try this. No, it's not the tank. It's not the tank. Well, you gotta trust me, guys. It'll pump lava out. I'm not sure if it's just the location or what. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. I know we're fine. I was pumping out lava before. This just doesn't wanna just doesn't like me man just doesn't okay where's my f5 f5 cool well catch you guys later peace